All right, this is Tulsa Bed Bug Specialist.com in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Our phone number is 918-892-5254. Um, here's a, another demonstration or another um, uh, tip on dealing with bed bugs. We get a lot of customers that do use Dimatious Earth. Now, Dimatious Earth is really not a end-all be-all cure to bed bugs but it can help keep them at bay and so a lot of times we get people that will use products that aren't safe now this is a safer product to use that if you want to use something before we come out or the infestation's not that bad or you think there's something you want to try before calling a professional in um, because it's too pricey this is a product we would recommend it's slow active working is slow working so you're not going to get a quick kill with this um, it's actually going to take days even weeks to actually work um, on controlling the bed bugs if they even do that if it even does that but um, but um, anyway that um, there's a, um, this is a natural product dimatious earth um, yeah, you can get it at a feed store, I think, uh, or uh, I don't know if any of the hardware stores, but something like that would probably be a safe bet. Um, but anyway, um, here's some ways on how to apply it and how not to apply it. Okay, so we have a few demonstrations here. Um, we have a black towel to kind of let you know. This is what we see a lot. We see piles of... of um, Dimatious earth all over the place, right? It's just, you know, they get it and it's kind of like, eh, let's spread it around more the better, right? Well, no, more is not better. Um, it's actually worse because what happens is the bed bugs will uh, avoid it and will go in deeper into crevices, cracks, uh, different hiding places. They'll find a way around it. They have all night and sometimes all day if you're if you work to hide and to find other hiding places all right now this is another thing we see is um, kind of spread out real thick like this um, it's, th it's thinner but it's not um, it's still too thick it's still too much of it so not even a thin coat like this on the carpet or around the beds um, oh, and I forgot to I, I forgot to mention. Yes, you're going to apply it around the beds, around uh, furniture, around where you see the bed bugs, um, uh, mostly. But check the label; uh, they'll give you uh, directions on how to use it. Uh, we don't use this, so our the um, solutions and products we use have different um, instructions and ingredients. Um, so anyway, so not even a thin layer like this, um, and definitely not pals of it like this, but, um, but we'll show you how to apply correctly. So now here, um, I have a couple, couple um, devices that I use, we use to apply our products. Um, um, this is a device we use every day it's a, a duster, um, what you call it, a blower duster. Um, um, this is another kind, a different kind that we could use. Um, um, uh, kind of an old-fashioned one. Um, and then if you buy certain products, they'll put them in kind of a, like a um, container like this where you cut off the top and then um, you'll uh, apply uh, with just kind of pushing in on the bottle but uh, so all of these have stuff in them uh, we'll show you how you should apply when you do apply to furniture around furniture or bed remember use a mask if you can because um, this stuff kind of gets in the air it's not harmful but it will kind of make you cough sneeze and it will kind of dry up your skin um, but those are the only things that usually can happen so what we what we see a lot even what we see a lot is these are, this is how you don't want to do it you don't want to um, you don't want to uh, push it out 
and you don't want to put spray it out like that you don't want to do that you don't want to spray it out like this you don't want to spray it out like that um, this device kind of does the same thing it, it sprays it out you don't want to do it like this but what you want to do is you want to apply a little bit almost enough to where you can see it but not um, but not um, much more than that so what you're going to do is you're going to do small breaths like this and you can kind of barely see it just like that just like that just like that just and what this is going to do is it's going to coat it really well and what you're doing what you're trying to do is put a thin layer enough to where it's going to affect them but enough to where they don't think it's a big deal and it does they don't think it affects them and so anyway um um, so look at the kind of marks that this kind of leaves and it puffs up but then it goes back down to the carpet so you're actually coating the area even though it doesn't look like it um, so just remember puffs as small as that remember the the product will settle and it will coat the area pretty thoroughly so don't don't overdo it never overdo it because once you overdo it um, it's almost worse than not doing it at all so remember, not puffs that look like that, not puffs that look like that, not that, not that either, no mounds like that, just small puffs where you can barely see it like that. Alright, thanks guys.